from Grandpa Bly. I have only fond memories of Nicole as she grew from a five-year-old banging on the upright piano in my living room in Irvine, California, to her ever-changing interests in junior high and high school, to that proud moment when I saw her graduate from Chapman University. I remember first meeting Greg at a restaurant in Newport Beach. I liked him immediately. I, along with this young couple, had no idea at the time that they would be standing before you all today on this auspicious occasion. Today is the culmination of many months of flights across the Atlantic and phone calls squeezed into eight hour time differences. Love shrinks distances and time is irrelevant. I'd like to thank Greg's family and friends for welcoming us with such open arms, such a warm welcoming, and to everyone else for traveling the distance to be here. It really means a lot to our family, so thank you. With all the moving and figuring out our lives and our paths, Nicole taught me that our lives aren't on a timeline and we get to where we're supposed to be when it's meant to happen and you have to put in the time and work to get there. She's like my metaphorical flight attendant, warning me that there might be some slight turbulence along the way. It's all good, you gotta own it. Uh, it's all a part of the journey. And speaking of turbulence, she has also taught me not to let fear interfere with love. Even when that means tackling your biggest fear to travel across the globe for that special someone. I owe a lot to my sister for how she's shaped me as a person and how she's always supported me no matter what. The truest thing I know in this world is that I would not be the person I am today without my sister, and I'm not sure how I would have gotten by in life without her love and support. And it came to no surprise to me when she found someone with a heart as massive as hers. I'm so proud to be standing here today to celebrate my best friend finding the love of her life. Nicole and Greg's love has truly overcome the test of time. I'm in complete awe of their patience and grace throughout the challenging process it took to get to where they are right now. I can say with confidence that you two as a team are braced to take on anything the world throws at you. Your feelings long, long held over the past 10 years have finally manifested themselves to this very moment, the beginning of always, and I couldn't be more happy for the two of you. Nicole and I are very close. We're very different in many ways but we're very much alike in so many others. I am in awe of my daughter. She's brilliant and strong and brave and beautiful and giving. Nicole, I'm so proud of the person that you've become and the partner I know that you'll be throughout your marriage. As you can imagine, it's painful to have my heart, my firstborn, 5,297 miles away, but it, it makes it so much easier on all of us to know that she is surrounded by so much love and support from all the family and friends that are here today. I just want to thank you all for showing all of us so much of that as well. David and I are very blessed to have Greg Sandy as our son-in-law. He is kind beyond words. And he makes Nicole so happy, that brings me to tears. Nothing is better than watching their joy and laughter. Thank you all again for being here. Let's raise our glasses to the happy couple. Cheers to love and laughter and happily ever after. For those of you that don't know, Nicole's worst nightmare is being the center of attention. So I'll do my best to keep this relatively brief uh, and also try not to fall apart. Again, very similar to Ginger, Nicole is an absolute machine when it comes to organizing and planning. The work you've put into today is incredible. I wanted to work out the best way to tell you just how perfect that I think you are. The best way, and this is a really weird way of putting it, but the best way that I could come up with it is 
Now, Nicole has never suffered with hay fever, or as Americans would call it, allergies. <laughs> but she has never suffered with it before. And about two weeks ago, she got hit with the worst bout of hay fever that I think I've ever seen anyone suffering. And I've, I've been through some rough times myself. And there were quite a few times where she would look up at me and say, I can't believe that I'm going to get married looking like this. <laughs> and I would look at you with your runny nose, your explosive sneezing, and your violently red puffy eyes. And all I could think was how lucky I was to be marrying somebody so beautiful, so wonderful. You asked me on multiple occasions, hopefully as a joke, are you sure you still want to marry this? <laughs> the answer is yes, today and every day. When I first met Nicole, she was a dark, mysterious being. <laughs> Utterly terrifying. And almost certainly a witch. <laughs> Fast forward to today and all of these sentiments still ring true. But over the years that I've known you, I've learned you're generous and thoughtful and infinitely kind. Your smile brings warmth and happiness to everybody in your life. To share my life with you is the greatest honor. I love you so much.